with just two more weeks until the new year. Maybe you're thinking of New Year's goals. Is one of your New Year's goals to take your Aikido to the next level, to continue improving? If so, I hope today's video will give you some insight, inspiration, and maybe most importantly, motivation. In today's video, I share a couple clips from a seminar I did a couple months ago in Bonn, Germany. Uh, if you watched last week's video, you may remember that the technique was Ikkyo, and I stressed maintaining a soft and sensitive connection, as well as not forcing uke to move in a certain way or do a certain thing. It's not forcing uke. Uh, today's video has the same theme of maintaining a soft, sensitive Hi, my name is Leah Suzuki and I'm the director of Aikido Kenkyukai International USA, headquartered in Los Angeles, California. And I'm the author of the book called The Teacher from the Aiki Dialogues. Welcome to my virtual dojo where I give you tools to help you avoid pain while making your technique more effective. Before we jump into today's video content, I want to put a resource in your hands that's free. I want to give you my Shoto fact sheet with lots of info about Shoto or short sword. It's a simple PDF. The fact sheet will help you gain inspiration and new insights. It'll tell you the sizes of different blades, the benefits of using short sword in conjunction with your Aikido training, and a little bit about my background using Shoto. It'll help you eliminate any ineffective or harmful patterns of movement so you can preserve your body and improve your technique and continue training for years to come. You can download it at leahsuzuki.com slash shoto, S-H-O-T-O, or just click on the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy the gift and I hope you take action on it. Let's check it out. Only that much for now. Enter and turn the body. Look at your feet afterwards, not during, just afterwards. If you have this situation, his left, my right, then fix it. Should have been that, okay? And then figure out how you can do it without needing to fix it next time. So oftentimes people do that. So let this one go way past his foot first, then turn your belly. See if you can see his back or his shoulder blade. If so, congratulate yourself, okay? Hi, go ahead. Anyway, I find that if he's coming with his right hand, I like to start with my right foot forward so that I can take one simple full step to get back here. So let's do a little bit more. You can try that out. Uh, if you're already doing it that way, great. Do it some more. If, if you normally do this way to enter that way, give this a try if you want. A little bit of brain yoga and see how it feels. The true test then, once you've turned your belly button this way, facing the same way as his, can you see his shoulder blade? Or are you just able to see his arm right next to you? So then try a bigger step next time. We'll enter, and this is here. So now what happens, many times people have this elbow up, and yeah, push him down, or or maybe even this looks relaxed, but he can feel like, oh, that's not relaxed, right? So this, as I like to say many times, they, it trips the alarms. It trips the alarm. You go into the bank to steal the money, right? But then suddenly, bing, you know, ah. <laughs> so don't trip the alarm. Just go in. You have a nice entrance. Wow, great, I did it. Ah, this is where I wanted to end up. Now don't trip the alarm, okay? So let's try something. Let's let this arm be heavy. And let's think of a line from here on his shoulder to here, my center. And let's not do, let's not do irimi-nage, okay? Let's just compare and contrast. Let's try it with me being tight and me drawing my forearm along this line and centering into my uh, center, falling into my center, lowering into my center, okay? And don't worry about if he falls or not, just let him feel the difference. You feel the difference. Again, compare and contrast, try all the things that you want, and then try the one that we're working on. Uh-huh, hi, go ahead. <clears throat> uh-huh. 
<clears throat> so one more thing that a very astute student noticed that I didn't actually notice until tonight. Um, she noticed that, oh, wait, no, 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 you're doing something with your center also. And I just happened to be in front of these windows. I could see my reflection. I felt it. I looked at it. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> so again, if you compare and contrast, if you deliberately do, if you deliberately trip the alarms, then you learn a lot. Oh, okay, this is the one that feels terrible to him. He wants to resist against. Then you do what I was talking about, loosen the arm and let it go down the center. But he's not moving as much as he was the last time I did it. So if I engage this, felt different, I bet, right? Yeah. <laughs> but should all have some in, internal uh, power, right? And so anyway, once I looked in the mirror, there is this feeling of tightening and expansion of the center. It's hard to talk during it, <laughs> right? But it makes another difference, right? So again, you can compare, you can pull, push, and then you can make this, so he's moving more. And then try, you don't even, I'm not even talking about moving the hips. Try tightening your stomach and bringing your stomach over here to this corner and then taking it down here, expanding it to here. Okay, feels different. Really hard to explain. So, and in Japan, for those of you who don't know, I was there nearly 10 years. So I had a lot of experience and uh, trained under a lot of teachers. I never heard this explained in this way, tighten your stomach, tighten your abs, shift it over here, but more like philosophical things or, or sometimes not philosophical, like do it like this and this and this. It's like ice skating, gozo. And you're like, what? Uh, anyway, but you train and train and train, you get thrown and thrown and thrown. And there's so much transmitted subconsciously. And eventually, you start to visualize, this is just my experience anyway, start to visualize the movement before the movement happens. And then the, the visualization goes internal. Again, I don't know if this is scientific. I don't know if other people share this experience, but after so, so, so much ukemi, just shut up and train for two hours. Um, this, is, this has been my experience. So just it, you visualize it more and more. And then that visualization becomes internalized and you start to move in a very subtle way. So enter, and now you can try, loosen this and move your insides and give it a try. <laughs> then one more point to make. All of this becomes easier to execute if you, if you end up here. So, and, you end up here, all right? So instead of this, so arrive and then get on the same perspective that she has, not this. She's going this way, we turn this way. Then, uh -huh. good, here, mm -hmm. good, just some. Good, mm -hmm. same perspective. And by the way, we don't need to push on this or anything. This, just, just leave this here. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, good. And then we have the, these options afterwards, don't yeah. we? Mm -hmm. Here. Later, various options, thank you. So now let's just do the same thing, but more fluidly. Enter and put this together. Don't worry about whether he falls or not. Worry about whether he reacts this way. Something went wrong here. Oh, didn't fall, but that's a much better reaction than the last one. So try to get this type of reaction, not just resisting. I go ahead. But 
we stay on center line. Not pushing here and then here and then bam here. Just I keep this on my center line. Yeah, you see? <laughs> and then it's so fun when these unexpected things happen. Okay, so let them continue around you. And uh, keep in mind this, sorry, one more thing. Let's keep in mind this, let's show them. <laughs> this rather than this, okay? I go ahead. Let that energy keep going. But then you can draw them in. We'll do more of this late in other classes or on the weekend, but just to give you an idea. Let him keep going. Here. Yeah. And then you can sink back. Thank you. Moritza. Here. Yeah. So now veering off of the map of the center line a little bit. But in the end, instead of this, this. Okay. It's a little bit advanced. We'll try it more throughout the weekend. Here, yeah. drawing up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just a little more. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Then, same thing. Now, this is your shoto. Here. Now that we have our hands, we want to do more to control him, to boss him around. Right? Here. Yeah. Try not to. Try to just keep this as your shoto. Uh-huh. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Good. Nice. Excellent. Hi, go ahead. <laughs> In conclusion, I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know in the comments section what seminars you're going to attend in 2023 and what your Aikido goals are for the new year. I would really uh, encourage you to make some goals around your Aikido as well as other areas in your life. Uh, for that matter, of course, please feel free to leave any questions as well related to the new year or not. Again, I'd like to give you a gift, my Shoto fact sheet. The fact sheet will help you gain inspiration and new insights in your Aikido training. It'll tell you the different sizes of uh, wakizashi blades, the benefits of using Shoto in conjunction with your Aikido training, and a little bit about my background using Shoto. So just click on the link below or type in leahsuzuki.com slash Shoto. Again, thanks so much for tuning in. For those of you who celebrate, I hope you have a safe and pleasant Christmas. Uh, see you again next time in the new year. Bye-bye.